Have you ever been caught in a real heavy rainstorm wishing you had a better set of windshield wipers for better visibility? We're today going to be testing quite a few different brands to see which brand can deliver the best performance. We're also going to be looking at the construction of how they're made and what they're made of. Are silicone wipers really any better than just the traditional rubber wipers? So let's get the testing underway. In the first test, we'll use a high-speed camera to compare just how well these blades perform in a simulated rain environment. We'll also see which blades are the quietest and which ones squeak and clunk. We'll also see how these blades perform in icy conditions. We'll take a look at the blade construction and see how it affects performance. A quick description of the blade designs before we jump right into the testing. The design that's been around for decades is the traditional steel frame with a superstructure and blade claws. Then there's a hybrid which uses a steel frame with a plastic cover. Finally, there's the frameless curved blade design. These blades use either rubber or silicone elements. The goal of this first test is to see just how these blades perform in a simulated medium to heavy rain condition. Since there's a lot going on in a split second, we'll use a high-speed camera to slow things down a bit. To ensure a fair test, the water spray nozzle is attached to a rubber cone and the water pressure and spray pattern will remain constant throughout all of the testing. The least expensive wiper blades we'll be testing are these auto drive wiper blades costing only $8.94 for two of them. They are a high performance all season wiper blade. It's pretty rare to find something that's not made in China. These are actually made in Vietnam. The auto drive really struggled with water management. At first look, it appears that water is passing under the wiper element. After a closer look, it appears that the wiper element is working just fine. As the water is traveling up the blade, water accumulates and finally passes over the blade, leaving water streaks. Very affordable at $10.92 for a pair, the Bosch Clear Advantage is an all-weather performance wiper blade. It claims its graphite-treated wiping edge reduces friction for a quiet and smooth wipe in all seasons. These Bosch blades are made in China. Instead of using a steel frame, the Bosch blade uses a plastic beam blade construction. Bosch did a much better job at sweeping and managing the water. There is a single streak of water on the sweep to the left. At the end of the sweep, water is pushed away from the blade fairly well. However, when the blade begins to return back to the right, there is some water that's brought back with the blade. Compared to the auto drive, this is a far better blade and is in large part due to the modern beam design. Clearly, Bosch won the side-by-side -side comparison. The third least expensive wiper blades we'll be testing are these AC Delco all-season blades costing only $11.46 for a pair. These AC Delco blades are made in Mexico. The AC Delco blade looks a lot like the auto drive using a steel frame construction. The AC Delco did perform better than the auto drive, but the steel frame construction caused the same problems. Just like the auto drive, as water gathers up against the element, water splashes over the element, leaving water streaks. Once again, Bosch is a better blade. At $16.98 for a pair of blades, these Aero blades claim they are made of a durable material that offers more thermal resistance and longer performance life. Specially blended rubber delivers smooth, clean, streak-free, and chatter-free wipe. Flexible spine design fits the windshield better, provides superior windshield contact. The Aero and the Bosch share the same beam frame design and look nearly identical. Not surprisingly, they performed nearly the same. Both did extremely well manage the water on the left sweep and had a moderate amount of water brought back with the blade with the sweep to the right. $16.98 
Since this one was too close to call, the wind goes to the less expensive blade, the Bosch blade. Costing only $17.98 per pair are these Guardian Michelin wiper blades that are designed for all season. Natural rubber with Duraglide coating, smooth, quiet operation. Made in China. The Michelin Guardian uses a steel frame construction similar to the auto drive in the AC Delco, but also has a flexible plastic cover. At first, the plastic cover seems to be helping with water management during the sweep to the left, but several streaks of water appear, which is still better than the all steel frame construction. Unfortunately, as the blade returns to the right, water that appears to be trapped under the plastic cover begins to get slung across the window. Once again, the Bosch takes the win. Costing quite a bit more than the Guardian is this Michelin Cyclone Premium Hybrid, costing $26.36. Duraflex cover, maximum flexibility, plus protection from clogging with snow and ice. Made in China. The Michelin Cyclone appears to be extremely similar to the Guardian. Both blades use a steel frame construction along with a plastic cover. They both leave considerable streaking of water on the sweep to the left and both appear to accumulate water under the plastic cover which gets slung back onto the window during the sweep to the right. Once again, the Bosch takes the win. Costing $36.86 for a pair are these PIAA Super Silicone Wiper Blades. Silicone advantage, two times longer lasting. The PIAA blades are made in Japan. Even though the PIAA uses a steel frame construction, the price of the blade can be explained by the use of a silicone element, which typically outlasts rubber elements. Just like the other steel frame blades, water can be seen passing over the element during the sweep to the left. It actually did fairly well on the sweep back to the right, but the much less expensive Bosch still outperformed the PIAA. Costing $38.94, the most expensive wiper blades we'll be testing is the Michelin Endurance XT Silicone Beam. Durability tested for 2 million plus wipes. Extreme weather performance. Stays flexible and resists cracking from minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 195. The Michelin Endurance XT uses a frameless beam construction along with a silicone element. There weren't any water streaks during the sweep to the left. At the end of the sweep, it seemed to do fairly well at releasing the water. The sweep to the right only had a small amount of water sling compared to the competition. The Michelin Endurance XT definitely did a better job than the Bosch.
Costing $30.54, the Rain-X Latitude is the third most expensive wiper blades we'll be testing. These wiper blades treats windshield with a water repelling coating. These Rain-X blades are made in Korea. For optimal water repellency results, ensure windshield is clean and dry. Turn on the wiper blades and wipe dry at the medium speed for two to three minutes. Spray washer fluid briefly and water repellency is activated. The rain also uses a frameless beam construction but also has a rubber element, not a silicone one like the Michelin Endurance XT. The last wiper blades we're testing are these rain wiper blades since they leave a film on the window. We're gonna run these wiper blades dry for two minutes per the instructions and then we'll begin testing. According to the instructions, we'll use some windshield washer fluid when we're done running these for two minutes and then it should activate the rain so is the rain x as good as the michelin endurance xt during the sweep to the left there are a couple of water streaks which is better than the steel frame blades and the covered steel blades but not as good as the michelin endurance xt silicone blade it did seem to do a great job just like the michelin xt did at the end of the sweep releasing the water an equally good job on the sweep to the right so the wind definitely goes to the Michelin Endurance XT silicone blade. Up next, we'll compare how these blades perform when they're not frozen, as well as when there's ice formation on each of the blades. The auto drive has a lot of flexibility, but unfortunately, with all this ice on it, Definitely not good. This is going to be a problem in winter weather conditions. This is the Bosch blade. Very flexible when it's not frozen. This one has been exposed to the same amount of moisture content as the rest of the blades. Okay, there was some resistance there, but as you can see, the ice quickly broke away from the blade and is very flexible. AC Delco, very good flexibility when not frozen. And the frozen one's not doing very well. Obviously ice is going to be a problem on the metal frame construction. The Michelin blades are both the same construction with the metal on the inside. Let's see how this performs. Oh, definitely better than the all metal construction, but it's still not in the proper shape that it belongs in in order to do an effective job. Let's see how much force this takes. Actually, that didn't take much force at all. Pretty impressed. A lot easier than the metal frame construction when dealing with winter weather conditions. Obviously there's gonna be ice on the actual element, but with that being said, the frame itself is flexible. The Michelin Endurance XT silicone blades definitely seem like the best overall blades, but they come at a very expensive price at nearly $20 each. Rain-X Latitude came in second, Bosch Clear Advantage with a very affordable price tag tied with Aero for the third position, and PIAA came in fifth. When it comes to windshield wiper blades, technology obviously makes a huge difference, and you don't have to pay a lot to get a lot with Bosch. I have to say though, I'm really impressed with that Michelin XT silicone blade. That thing is amazing, but it's also pretty spendy. Now, one thing we didn't test for is UV exposure, and that test will begin today. I'm gonna place these blades all in direct sunlight, and we'll come back in a year and see how they are doing. All my video ideas come from viewers, including this one. So please keep those video ideas coming, and I'll keep making videos. Please take care, and I look forward to next time.